Hi, my name is Katrina Cole, and today I'm going to be talking to you about fetal alcohol spectrum disorder, also known as FASD. Okay, so the first thing is, is it's a disability that you can't see it and you can't hear it. So if I was talking to you, you wouldn't be able to notice that I have a disability and that I have fetal alcohol spectrum disorder. The second thing is FASD is different for everyone. If one person that has FASD has a behavioral problem and another person that has FASD doesn't have a behavioral problem, that doesn't mean the one who has the behavioral problem shouldn't. You know, it's different for everyone. It just really depends what you are in the spectrum, if you're lower in the spectrum, and if you're higher in the spectrum. So it just depends on the person you are. The third thing is, is some people forget that kids with FASD have FASD. Because, again, you can't see it and you can't hear it. So you forget pretty easily. Okay, so here is stuff that go with having FASD. So it's not just it's not just having FASD, you know, there's a lot of other stuff. I have attention deficit disorder. It's where I can't, you know, focus or sit still for a long period of time. I have anxiety, which is just where I get worried and when I have Anxiety usually doesn't turn out good. Usually doesn't. <laughs> um, I have obsessive compulsive disorder, which is where I have to have something very specific. Like, I have to lock doors before I go to bed because that's a, I don't know, just like a safety thing for me. I have to. Check every door before I go to bed, make sure they're all locked, or else I cannot go to sleep. I don't know why. That is OCD. I have sensory processing disor disorder, and I have a lot of sensory issues, especially with hearing. You know, if you are like, if the music's too loud, I can't. I can't do that. It's just too loud. Then it has to be turned down. When the sun's too bright, the sun gets too bright sometimes. That's a sensory issue. Smell is a sensory issue. I don't know why, but I guess it's part of the five senses, so it's a sensory issue. Also, touch. Touch is a pretty big one. If I'm throwing a fit, and someone touches me, I will freak out. It will not turn out well. Um, also, for a touch, things have to be very soft, and also, if it's like a bad sensory day or something, I need like something like rough to rub on my hands. I don't know why, but it just feels good, like the roughness on my hands. That's for my sensory um, processing disorder. I also have conversion disorder, where it's when I get stressed out, my right side gets temporarily paralyzed, and I just can't move it. <laughs> I don't know why. That's just how it is. I have oppositional defiant disorder, which is where basically. I don't like when people tell me what to do. That's the best I can explain it, honestly. Those are all the disorders or stuff that goes with FASD. I'm not saying everyone has it. Everyone with FASD has those ones. They probably do have some of them. And, you know, it's most likely they would have um, some of them. I'm not saying it's impossible, but it's like 99%. <laughs> and those are the other stuff 
just comes with it. <laughs> and those are kind of a lot, I think. Yeah. <laughs> and another thing is, people have to be very specific. Like, if someone says, oh, it's 12 o'clock and it's 11.59 or 11.58, I'll be like, no, it's not. It's 11.59. I have to be specific. Also, not just with that, but if you're not specific, I may not understand, like, what, what you mean. My sister, I do this sometimes to my sister, though, just to annoy her sometimes. If she's like, okay, can you give me a bottle of water? And I'll say, sure. Then she'll say, now? And I say, now what? So she has, then she has to like say the whole thing. Okay, can you give me a bottle of water please now? So that I just do to annoy her. But usually like in school, you have to be very specific. For doing chores, you have to be very specific. Basically, almost everything you have to be very specific for me about. I don't know how it is with other people, but that's how it is for me. You have to be very, very specific. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe and like this video and comment if you want a more FASD videos or anything. And Thank you so much for watching, and I know I didn't get into much detail with these ones, but there's not much to get into detail. These are just kind of very simple kind of ones you need to, like, need to, like, stand out. So, thank you so much for watching. Hope you like it.